Steve, congratulations on your first senior managerial appointment. You must be over the moon. Yeah, it's great. Obviously, I uh, had a little taste of it when the last manager left. And uh, yeah, obviously did the three games and really enjoyed myself. And uh, yeah, I put my name forward and said if they would like me to continue, I would, uh, I'd be really happy and, and be uh, excited to give them the opportunity. And uh, they gave me the opportunity. So I'm thankful to, to them. And I'm also thankful to the players and the fans that got behind me over those last two weeks as well. And, have made it a really, really enjoyable time, which give you that buzz to take the job on. How pleased have you been with the, the players' reactions, in particular to yourself and Tom being with us now for the, for the remainder of the season? Yeah, they've been excellent. Obviously, they were excellent since day one. They took everything on board, and I think you see that in their performances and uh, what we asked them to do. We changed the style a little bit, and I think you could really see that on the pitch. And, and now, the most exciting thing is, is that we've got the opportunity to progress that now and and hopefully we'll get better and better and better and uh, I think I don't want to speak on behalf of the players but I'd like to think they're really excited and looking forward to that. Have you been in direct contact with Tansri Vincent Tan recently? What, what's he said to you? Just they have all the confidence in me. They want me to do really well for the team and the football club and then yeah to continue, continue the good work that, uh, that we started and as I said they're the people I thank the most in all this. Um, Obviously him along with Ken and Mehmet and, and Steve just for giving me the opportunity and having the belief in me to take this on. So what changes tomorrow now from what you've been doing up to this point? What changes will you be implementing? Well, I won't be changing anything hugely off of what we've done off the back of the last two weeks because we tried to make big changes quickly and we did that. But now obviously we've got the ability to be able to really instill that in the lads and those two weeks, how we worked, we can work like that continuously now and I'd like to think off the off of the starting place where we are obviously that should be easier and um, we should see progression on the football pitch because um, we can now work on it every day on the training ground and uh, it can instill that that's a standard uh, especially what we put out against Huddersfield as a standard to our performance and hopefully we can do that um, week in week out. And you've already spoken about the fans packing and you mentioned Huddersfield there did that game highlight to you just how good the fans can be. Football is made by the football fans isn't it so uh, we we play the game we work within the game because we love we love what it does for people it's uh, the noise when that that winning goal went in on Saturday was incredible and that's something that's that's what you live for and uh, uh, my reaction on the side was just a pure natural reaction to to that moment and the relief that it gave everyone and it was just that it was just a really happy moment and and that's the plan. How many times can we can we have moments like that? And uh, yeah, we can have lots of them. And no doubt, Steve, there are going to be a lot of challenges ahead for the rest of the season. But what does success look like to you? Winning as many games as we can. I'm not I'm not a very good loser. I'm much better at winning. And uh, for me, it's uh, let's get away from where we are right now. Um, let's get ourselves up the table. I think there's ten games between now and Christmas. Can we have more wins than anything else? Can we tick those boxes and then? We head into the January window where hopefully we can uh, uh, improve our squad slightly, whether that's bringing people back, uh, whether that's getting new people in, however that might be. If, if, if we see a real upturn in performances um, and everyone's, everyone's flying and everyone's doing really well, it might be a case of where we actually now, actually the style of play's changed, how we want to work's changed, so we don't need to start looking elsewhere because we've got really good copper players in the younger age groups as well that might be able to help those um, those uh, players in the first team. So for me, first and foremost, let's get ourselves out of trouble. Let's get ourselves uh, away from, from that pack down the bottom and let's, let's start getting Cardiff back to where they should be.